Hello. Welcome back to the Walton Files. Sit back. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, so we'll watch the second one. Yeah! Bon! Bon looking like Fix-It Felix Jr. From the game, Fix-It Felix Jr. He's doing a good job. Hello, BSI members and employees, and welcome to the taste that will change the future of the Bonds Burgers brand and the Buddy Smiles company for the better. Yeah. That's right, after four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup. Fix it, Felix Furry. <laughs> A plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bond's Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you, the Relocate Project. But before we go in... So like... So like... Five Nights at Freddy's 3? Or like, Sister Location? Is that what we're going with now? The third one is the longest but scariest in my opinion. I'm probably gonna just watch the two. The details we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start. Hey, yo, what's Bendy doing here? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Go back. What was that? Bunny Smiles employee. With the company. Yeah, that's a that's the Ink Beast Bendy right there. That's out of the way. Let's start analyzing the reload. It's an hour long. Oh my god. It's lengthy. Case project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some beloved, months after where, the restaurant's closure. Where am I at? You said beloved, and they put the worst one in. Later on, a good amount of business opportunities appear, such as books, merch, animated movies. We there he is. There's that son of a bitch. Even got a TV show. That's when Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram Felix. the robots of Bond. Felix Kranken 90s. Burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not so distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bond Burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. So let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. Woo! Felix Kranken 90s, he's staring at me in the darkness. We're doing this thing again, huh? It's just weird. It's not scary. It's just weird. <laughs> 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 
find a way out of the cage, but it's unsuccessful. The rabbit keeps trying to find a way out or at least catch the owner's attention. The mighty rabbit must get out. The mighty rabbit needs to 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 get out. The rabbit is starving. That's what I say when I gotta take a dump. <laughs> the mighty rabbit needs to get out. <laughs> the mighty rabbit needs to get out. The rabbit is starving. 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 Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is starving. Is 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 Hey, yo, why are they playing that meme song? the rat oh i think that's the rabbit The sheep. Technical support. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the Bunny Smile Storage Facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the Bunny Smile uniform. Um, but most importantly, all purple. It's purple. Purple guy. What <laughs> you must always, under any circumstance, use your BSIID card. Hey, yeah, yeah, Brian Stones, let's go. We are ready to go. Hello, I see you made it to the storage facility. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? I thought so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have a backpack. I just hold my items. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9 Lantern. Hold on. <laughs> I've got a GoPro. Close enough. Check. Snacks. I've got I've 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 got a I've got a jar with a couple hard candies and a couple packets of Splenda. Check. Key. Uh, I don't have keys, but I have a pack of silly bands. Check. Camera. I, I, again, I have the GoPro. Uh, check. I put them in my hat instead. I, do <laughs> I don't have... I don't have Tiny Tim to put in my bag, I'm afraid. Wow, it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. I told you I didn't bring turn a light. Turn on the light. I didn't bring a light. Turn on the light. I told you I don't have one. Turn on the I don't have one. It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can... There's literally one door. How are you going to get lost? Sit down, rest, talk with coworkers. You name it. Remember to always... Stupid sheep. God, makes me mad. I'm just mad. I don't like this sheep. If I could hit this sheep, I would. This room is clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. You forgot the little man. There was a little man. 
We forgot about right, the little so man. This is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save that kind of prizes and merch that was available. In they cut off half of my man, but he's still there. He's still there. The Bond's Burgers restaurant. The third door is used to hide. Oh, you're sad. Good. Welcome to the basement. Am I supposed right to put that in reverse or something? I'm not doing that. I'm lazy. This is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade. That's where Foxy is. I've played Five Nights at Freddy's. Foxy is supposed to be back there, and they didn't put the curt uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, curtain up. He's supposed to go. Do, 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 the reverse message just explains the backstory of a character introduced later. Well, thank you. That saved me a lot of time. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Hey, hey, kids. <laughs> Look at my shiny teeth. Rose broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. Aww. You will be beautiful. Thanks. You will be beautiful. I am beautiful, thank you. <laughs> she broke like a Lego. She got taken apart like a Lego. <laughs> when she woke up, she looked beautiful. I mean, she was alright before. But, but on the inside. So four years after the event thing. Okay. Ew. The rejected members of the Beatles went inside, and they tried to look at stuff. Oh, no. Gotcha. But, um, the place itself was open during a short period of time, in which um, certain number of cases occurred around the area. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. There were complaints from people that lived near the restaurant about the place playing music during midnight. <laughs> we were here in the morning. Along with the lights on, which was weird, because back then, the company didn't really worry about hiring night guards. But yeah, the police closed after people were put in during the screams of the adult woman inside of the restaurant. Jeez. So yeah, yeah. So Some yeah, yeah. After that, the case was reported, residents decided to close the stores, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. Um, what's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let, like, one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the curtains were closed. Ooh. Well, that's odd. Fuck. This forest reminds me of the movie. The, uh. It's actually. Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh. Okay. I think you change these pieces with the new one. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yeah, but I think we should make them look I like as that, as possible. I like that they're not concerned that th this thing is sitting there going. Like, I feel like that would be concerning. The point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I, mean, um, I think we should restore yeah. But whatever. Yeah, but if we keep focusing on these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be fancy. Hey Kevin, I thought we can add the blink and eyes feature on He's this. He's that bought that lamb. I talked to Lily Danish. 
Again, broken, falling in the corner, and going. Like that's that's valid reason for concern, not to be like, huh, you know, I think this is a little damaged, and maybe we should fix it. It's like, no, isn't this place like abandoned? And four years ago, you had to shut down your place. I feel like if you had a brain, you would uh, you'd realize that something is going on and walk out of there, or at least like bash it in. I think that's what I would do. I would take the closest thing, probably the arm of one of the other animatronics, and just beat the shit out of the other ones. I would just absolutely demolish it. I would take the eyeball, taunt it, and throw it in another room. Then step on it. Then burn it. Then dump it in oil, and then burn it again. And then step on it. And then kick it. And then toss it. And then kick it again. And then introduce it to my second born child. And then let him beat it. And kill it. They brought little sleeping bags. Cute. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentioned its purpose? You're just overlooking. Okay. I've been looking at it for years. Yeah. 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 Wait, I thought that they went in there to investigate, not to fix the robots. Did I did I completely miss something? Chat chat who knows Walton Files. Did I miss that? Or or are they tripping? Which one of us is tripping? The sleeping bag trio or me? Hello. This will probably be the last party today before we leave. So yeah. Bad news. We go to see if the robots can be fixed. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. To help fix the... Okay. Got you. Got you. Okay, that makes sense. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the, uh, the re re relocation project. And log. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I am using the camera because I am planning to buy a mirror with a ski wing suit. I'm sure whatever this ski hides could save the project. I will show this footage to you guys once you wake up. I stupid decision. Absolutely stupid decision. Complete L plus ratio plus bozo decision to get out of your tiny little zippy sleeping bag and walk away. Be like, I found this key. I want to go uh, open something. Okay, sure. I know you guys told me not to wander around. She did. I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. Took me a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They're both back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. The back rooms, let's go. Brace. Thank you for subscribing. There are a ton of empty rooms with flying stuff. I came across this door, which, uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces and from the looks of it, some onions and matrox, I guess? I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and uh, this, this room number 26 or 27, I, I think, um, as you can see here, there are some, uh, spare heads, nothing I interested in to be on. <laughs> well, this is, um, bizarre. I can't really tell if this buddy is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is really weird. <laughs> this nope. is the last door. I, nope. I've never seen this clown thing He's before. He's got a cassette on his tummy. It's really, 
VHS on his tummy. There's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see the video. Girl, let's go get close to you. Sprung trip. I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So I guess I'll have to be brave and try and see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has a cassette player thing installed. But my guess is that it's used for for birthday parties. Like, you know, play a customized tape or something? I don't know. But we're about to find out. Dumb. Ignant. It will be my birthday in about 10 days. So, thank you, clown guy. I like the cut scream. Okay, the ending of that was actually creepy. Shadow man, sees me when lights go off. Okay, how long is the last one? It is a literal hour. So that's gonna have to be that's gonna have to be another time. So thank you for watching. If you watched this all the way through, I will be checking out part three of the Walton Files later. Click like, subscribe, hit all the funny buttons down at the bottom, and uh, yeah, I see you in the next one.